Well, guess what, folks? It is Saturday, and that means another Winner Circle 164 scale release. And today's car is going to be Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2008 National Guard Chevrolet Impala. Hell, Danny, folks, it is Diecast Buffet here again. Welcome back to another NASCAR Diecast review. And yes, it is Saturday. We're going back to the Winter Circle Saturday Diecast reviews. And uh, this Diecast, guess what? I picked this thing up from a very, very cool place. No, I didn't get it from uh, online or anything like that. No. Went to the Gypsy Tents at the uh, the Auto Trader Echo Park 500 race weekend. Of course, the Fall Texas race this year, which was a complete monsoon, right? It was just a complete washout for days on days. Well, anyways, they had a gypsy tent up there, and uh, this was on the freaking um, a peg inside the, the gypsy tent. And I tell you what, I'll be dog. I bought every COT-164 this cat had. I bought every single one of them, and this was one of them. Five bucks, you couldn't beat it, okay? Uh, I paid five bucks for it. Um, the windows are a little bit yellowed on it, but guess what? This is going to be a custom someday. Uh, they made so many of these freaking Dale Jr. die cans, and I'm a huge Dale Jr. fan, but I already had this car, uh, so I'll probably make a custom out of this. Uh, but anyways, this is the packaging from 2008, guys, and this is really cool. So they use this style packaging for like 08, 2009, you know, very cool stuff, right? Uh, but this die cast, I picked it up at the Speedway, and um, I remember talking to the guy talking to the guy who uh who ran the place and i was checking out you know he had his uh his clerk or whatever uh checking out the uh the products i bought and um i asked him i said hey you got any cot's left you know in your trailer or anything he said <laughs> if if we have any it's on the shelves and i'm like okay well that's cool um he was there last year uh in 2019 but i tell you what though if that cat is there next year you bet your bottom dollar we're gonna go do some cot hunting because i cleaned that cat out Anyways, folks, let's go and get this 2008 Dale Jr. National Guard Chevrolet Impala right out of the box. Sweet baby Jesus is this freaking diecast beautiful. Whoa. Now, I did a review on the 2009 version of this diecast, but this is the 2008. And there are some differences, of course, you know, very slight differences. Probably a few sponsor placements or whatnot. But my God, if I could take a can of this blue paint, if I could take a can of it and... Uh, I don't know, spray a car with it. Holy sheesh, man. The blue, it is metallic. It is like almost underwater style blue. Absolutely just stunning shade of blue for the National Guard Chevrolet Impala. Now, for those who are like, oh, you're going to make a custom out of this. Why? Uh, this is not a rare car. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. It's not a rare car. They, The 2008 Dale Earnhardt Jr. Um, National Guard and Amp Energy cars are so overproduced that you could probably buy thousands of them and they would still be at the same price i mean they're, they're, they're just ridiculous like they're gonna be at the same price they have right now i would probably say for at least six or seven years i mean they are they produce so many 2008 uh 164s for dale jr it is unbelievable it is the most overproduced die cast i think in history i i truly do believe it is the most overproduced um it's definitely of the late 2000s i can tell you that so you got National Guard right here on the hood, and whoa, dude, that looks freaking cool. Check this out. So look at the grill decal for this. Whoa, that's quite interesting. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here, guys. You can check this out. So this is beautiful. Look at the just that very thin red pen stripe. That is absolutely beautiful. But look at the grill detail here, bro. I've never seen a COT grill with that amount of detail, it's like a small mesh. Usually, it's kind of just a, a, like a black or dark charcoal bar that's just chilling there. No, that is a absolute beautiful mesh pattern, and I gotta say, that looks beautiful. So, this is a Impala SS, as they were known uh, back in the uh, 08. Uh, of course, you got Goodyear Gator back belts, Moog Clavites, Comp. Uh, I'm not really sure what those cornucopia decals are down there, but uh, very small. I see Wix air filters. Maybe a Rebestos. Love the white bow tie right there. Beautiful. The shade of white on this car is absolutely stunning. And uh, if you haven't already, please give the video a big thumbs up. I would greatly appreciate it, guys. Because, you know, I do these videos for y'all. Truth be told, I do these for y'all. And, um, you know, go into Texas Motor Speedway. And for, for any fan out there who's never went to a NASCAR race, I, I, I got to say, as someone who waited eight years to go to my first one, 
it is so worth it, bro. It is so freaking worth it. It's, ex it, it's expensive, but I tell you what, man, save your money and go go do yourself a favor and go to a NASCAR race, man. Find you a track, something. It doesn't matter if it's a truck race, an Xfinity race, whatever it may be. Go see one because I promise you, you will enjoy it. It is so much fun. So you got Dale Earnhardt Jr., his signature right there above the driver side window. And every time I see this paint scheme, guys, I think of NASCAR 09. And it's funny back on NASCAR 09, at least the PS2 edition, the blue on this car was blue like this. It wasn't metallic because it was a PS2 game. Of course, you know, we'll take a closer look at that hood accessory uh, very soon. But look at the contingencies on this freaking die kiss. I mean, bam, bam, bam. I mean, it's everywhere, man. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Is that a bootleg Wells Fargo or something? Uh, I got Hendrick Motorsports. Don't know what that is. Maybe Chicken Express or something. Uh, I got Simeon's. I think Freightliner right there. Of course, we got uh, Quaker State, National Guard, National Guard, Bone Marrow Program. Uh, you got uh, Amp Energy. You got 88 right there. You got uh, NASCAR Race Car. You got NASCAR Sprint Cup Series, Auto Meter, Stance, uh, Mechanics Wear, USG. Dow Chemical, EA Sports, Jenks, Mac Tools, 3M, Rallies, and Holly. Uh, got a very kind of skewy uh, Goodyear decal there, unfortunately. Coming over here to the back end of this car, and this right here, guys, is a trend we still see today. So, back in yesteryear, most of the die casts uh, are race cars from, like, let's just say 2006, 2007. Before the COT era began, really, I mean, it, it kicked off in 07, but it really kicked off in 08. Um... People painted mostly the back end of their car as the same color of the actual sides, right? So Dale Jr., if this car was made in 2004, the sides would have been the same color as the backs. Well, ever since 2008, when Dale Hart Jr. did this, and he did this for a number of years, he made the back end of the car black. And I gotta say, it is, it is beautiful, right? Uh, we see a lot of drivers actually doing this nowadays, uh, just making the back end of their car an obscure color or just black. And it's something like a slight trend the, the Dale Jr. camp kind of started or took an inspiration from someone else. This right here is an oopsie, though. Uh, obviously, this could be easily touched up with some paint or, you know, X-Acto knife. Maybe you could trim that white uh, decal slash paint off. But uh, does look a little bit obscure there. Of course, you got to, that's probably why this thing was still in the package because of that defect. But, I mean, if it's going to be built for a custom, you know, that's great. So, you got Quaker State Amp Energy. You got the giant bow tie on this back 2x4. You got... Uh, 88 right there. Of course, this, this is the, the uh, Winter Circle edition of this diecast. There's no, uh, you know, uh, winglet sponsors as the Gold Series uh, version of these cars generally had those, uh, the winglet sponsors. So that was one significant difference between the Gold Series, you know, the box diecast compared to the clamshell or card backs. And of course, right here on the doors, you do, you, you have the red 88 right there, you know, with the white and then the black trim. But on the roof, it's kind of inverted. And I, I love this. I think it looks great. So you got the white 88 right there. Then you have the very thin uh, red outlining. Then a black outlining, giving it a three-dimensional depth. Looks great, if you ask me. And, of course, you know, 2021 will be the first year that Hendrick Motorsports will not have a full-time car in the 88. Uh, one of the most popular numbers in the sport. And uh, who can forget these old-school Mountain Dew um, logos? I mean, I remember that back in the mid-2000s. These hood pieces actually came with magnets. Like, this thing is... Probably three times as heavy as the actual hood pieces you get in the NASCAR Authentics line nowadays. So, uh, you can only imagine um, the logistics to that. You know, if you're kind of on the cheap and you're looking for a, a, a solid COT piece, these things are so common nowadays. You can pick one up. It doesn't break the bank, and it's a beautiful paint scheme at that. Also, notice the windows are slightly yellowed. Probably have to retro bright them a little bit, uh, but nonetheless, a beautiful Dale Jr. Diecast. Hope you're having a great one. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you all in the next NASCAR Diecast review. With all that being said, folks, Diecast Buffet, signing off.